What is up, fellow bench warmers? Welcome back to your daily fantasy quick. What's up, guys? Welcome back to another quickie. My name is JJT with Komish, Komish Eric, and we are the Fantasy Bench Warmers. Hope you are doing well today. Uh, how many games do we, do we have today? 11? 11 games, yes. 11 games. Uh, let's talk about some of the news. Uh, the most annoying news I saw today was Desmond Bain. <laughs> yeah, that's Monday. Out for another three to four weeks. My goodness, that's what eight weeks now. It's gonna be eight if, weeks. if he if he <clears throat> uh, maximizes that timeline. Yes, probably eight weeks. I saw the tweet because I got a got an update on my phone and I saw that Desmond Bain's progressing well. That's the first part I saw. So I said, okay, it means maybe he's on track Close, to come back. Right? He's gonna be out for three to four more weeks. So I said. Oh, maybe Shams uh, mistype could be days, not weeks. But uh, apparently it's weeks. Sprain toe. Again, Jeremy taught me about uh, taught me that uh, toes can be any part of the <laughs> the boat because I thought it was it was the you know the, the big, big toe. One. Yeah. Yeah. So maybe I don't know which part of his <laughs> which toe got sprained, but this is. Unbelievable. Weeks, I mean, it's... Memphis does it again. Memphis does it again. Eight weeks is a long time. It's a long time. Um, For a sprain? I mean... I don't know. <laughs> yeah, well... Look uh, on the bright side. Lamelo has just played three games this season. <laughs> and it's your first round pick. I mean, if you had La- if you have Lamelo and Dusmond Bain as your, just... like... Which is possible. Which possible. Which is possible if you had Lamelo, Desmond Bain. Maybe you got Jimmy Butler somehow in that mix or something. And then, I mean, I mean, well, actually, if you got Lamelo, Chris Paul, and, and Bain, that's actually more possible because maybe you went with point guards early. Yeah. Right. Something. Yeah. I mean, uh, our friend Eric Ong, he he did he did something like that. Uh, uh, put a lot of point guards early on, so it could, could have been what some teams might have that. At this point, you're probably just gonna <laughs> just gonna tank the season already with, with what's happening. All right, so here's the thing: Bane is gonna be out three to four weeks. So in case you want to buy on Bane, I think there's no uh perfect, no other time to buy on Bane. If you're gonna yeah. buy low on Bane, this is the perfect time. And but but this is not for everybody, guys. Um, you know, three to four weeks is a lot of time. I don't really see. A team who is on the you know bottom half of the standings trying to buy this month Bay. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, managers who are probably in the top three or four could buy on Desmond Bay. Um, you know, throw in some hot free agent there who's get who's who's playing well right now. Um, because three to four weeks is a long time. And you know, um three to four weeks would mean January, right? Sometime January. January. Yeah? yeah. Sometime January. January. So that's that's a long time. Um, so yeah, you can buy low on Desmond B. A good news though, I saw a tweet from Woj that Robert Williams is quote unquote 10 to 12 days away. Uh, he could be returning soon. So I think that's a good news. Looks like really uh the Christmas. Uh, Christmas uh, game. Uh, do they have a game on Christmas Day? They I, might. They should. They should. They, they they're the Celtics. They 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 probably would have a game on Christmas Day. I forgot which team though. Uh, maybe maybe the Mavs. I'm not too sure. But but they will have a game on Christmas Day. Ten to twelve days puts him at one week before Christmas or a couple of days before Christmas. So that this is good news and paired with Al Horford's COVID. Diagnosis. This is, this is what the end time Al Horford just got in COVID. Yeah, yeah. It it seems it's like not, it. Uh, it's not like a first or second time. This is like three, four times he's he's got it. 
which is I, I I was thinking maybe I was wrong because when I was when I when I was writing about it, I said it feels like this happened before already with Horford, but I yeah I did not check it anymore. So I guess it's I I guess I was right. This has been. It's it's, I, I don't know how many already. times he has gotten it, but it seems like you know it's not not just twice. It seems like yes. it's been more yes. more than twice. That, agree, agree. Uh, yeah. But Robert Williams, ten to twelve days. You know, right now, if you have him, um, well, hold on a little longer. He might have. Yeah. He he probably would have his restrictions here, so um, I don't think he's gonna be full. Fully utilized until maybe January or maybe before, right before the All Star break, right? He's probably gonna have some strong uh, minutes restrictions plus some restrictions on back to back games. Uh, other news, AD. Whew, I thought we were going to. I thought we just jinxed AD. Um, well. A thirty-nine degree fever is nothing to, nothing to uh belittle. So I think uh, uh, yeah, I give but him, but I'm I pretty sure I'm pretty sure playing. lots of managers because initially he just went to the locker room without <laughs> any news, yeah. right? Without any news. Yes, so I'm pretty yes. sure lots of managers, you know, were really worried, right? Why he went to the locker room. Uh, and were they probably had a sigh of relief when they heard that it's just a fever. So this is good news. It's not. It's bad news that he won't be playing, but I think it's good news. It's relatively well. It's a. It's good news. Uh, not nothing uh, structurally wrong. No injuries. So so that that's good for AD. Actually, I was gonna say, uh, Robert Williams. If I own him, I will try to sell him now. Given the news. Mm. Because I just feel like uh the you know injured players like him when when people people see them as a gift you know you don't know what you're gonna get it's like something shiny but when when they play already and they start slow or, or you know take a long time to and maybe not even get back to his level this season the value goes down you think so, you think he won't get back at least close I, I don't think so I don't think he'll go back to that this season I, I, similar to Clay. I think he'll be good in certain games. He'll be okay. He'll not be a you know a droppable player, of course. He's still probably top 100, 110 or whatever. But he's not going to be top 20, 30 Robert Williams last year. That's just impossible in my opinion. Uh, so if I can sell him for what he was before, just maybe even lower than that a little bit, uh, I'll go get it. I'll who, go... who do you have in mind here? Who no, can we do it for? Well, we talked about Sengun the last time, right? I actually would prefer Sengun over Robert Williams just for the health factor. Of course, I know Robert Williams is the better fantasy player. But injuries are injuries. Whether he comes back early or not, uh, he's still coming back from an injury. And Jeremy just said, uh, they're going to manage him. They're going to manage him for a while. They're 21-5 and five or 22-5 and five or whatever yeah. the record is. They, they, that's without him. So... I, I, I mean, they don't need him. They don't need him at this point. At this point, at this point, and of yeah. course, Al Horford uh, will also be affected. You know, in a sense that we're gonna manage him also. So that that's double whammy, really, for fantasy managers of Robert Williams and Al Horford. It's gonna be a timeshare, uh, I think. All right. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, I initially was thinking if, um, you know. You sell now, or maybe you wait for him to return before you sell. Depends on what what deal you can have right now. I just feel like the deal right now will be better than the deal when he's about to return or when he returns. So maybe not now, but maybe just maybe two to three days from now. Maybe a couple, or just a couple of days. A week before you he know? comes back, or maybe yeah, a few before days he before back. he comes back, right? Yeah, um, yeah. Everyone knows he's gonna have minutes limit, so. Um, you know, all the managers probably expecting that. So the value they get to probably, you know, if they want Robert Williams, they'll probably know what they're getting. Uh, but they also know the upside. Yeah. Right? Uh, without That's true. maybe thinking about certain risk as well. And just, you know, like what Kumi said, 
um, some restrictions and all of those and might not get back to the old level. So, yeah. Um, AD, going back, AD is okay. He did play today. He probably, fine, I'm not sure fine. if he's going to play uh, the next game. LeBron did not play today because he's a back-to-back. <laughs> so, that's uh, annoying. I, I heard... I heard rumors it was LeBron just didn't want to play. <laughs> like, uh, really? I don't know. They, they, well, haters are saying it's a fake injury that he just doesn't, he just maybe feels like AD's out. Chances are they're going to no, lose. No. So, you know, just sit, sit it out or whatever. Hey, they, but the game was close until the end. Yeah, but it wouldn't have mattered. If LeBron played, they would have still lost. Yeah. I, I, I think. I think. I'm not worried about LeBron. AD also. I think AD will be back the next game. Um, I think so. Um, Unless it's COVID. Yeah. So, Chris Paul, some more good news. Chris Paul returned. Although they were... They were... How do you... Demolished. Call it? Demolished by... Uh, who were they against? Boston. 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 Uh, actually, I don't know if that's good news. He, he was really bad. I mean, watching him today. Oh, well, he was rusty. Okay, I gave him that. But, uh, well, for the season, as I said, uh, 9 points, 9 assists, 38% shooting. So far, he hasn't gotten any traction this season. I don't know if it's this is it. This is who, who he is. Or he'll be able to bounce back. That one, I cannot answer right now. My my view is that he's not going to be a top 30, top 40 guy per game going forward because of the age, because of the injuries, because of the pace. He's pacing, not pace. Pacing himself. So, yeah, good news. He's at least playing, but um, if, not really well. With that, with that though, is campaign an obvious drop right now? Or yeah. Wait a few games. I, I have a lot of campaign. And that's it. That makes it worse also. Uh, but I also have CP3, as I said before. So it's a mixed feeling. But I kept my campaign for a while. He he did had, have a lot of stats today in the on, in garbage time. But before that, he was nowhere to be found. So I think eventually he's going to be dropped. So I'm okay with dropping him. Eventually, he's, you're, eventually you're dropping him anyways. Um, so I'm okay with dropping him right now. If if there's anybody there that's hotter in the in the waiver wires, make the switch. Yeah, uh, Kawhi played thirty minutes, which is interesting. I think I thought during the overtime game, uh, during the overtime he won't be put back in, but he was put back in yeah. for a few minutes. Uh, encouraging. This is encouraging. Uh, there's no worried yet whether they're gonna play tomorrow, but chances are they won't. But I guess the they next won't. step is. They won't? Is it confirmed? No, it's not. But um, I haven't seen Kawhi play back to back even before. You know, he was injured. So for years, he played, <laughs> for he played years. thirty minutes. Um, I would be more. Uh, I would give Paul George chance to play tomorrow higher than Kawhi. But yeah. possibly both of them will be out. Possibly both of them will be out. Uh, but yeah, that's good news. Thirty minutes. Today was good news for Kawhi. It's a step forward. If you can continue that, even if he doesn't play those back-to-backs, I think managers would be happy already with that. And, you know, those who took some yeah. risk with yeah. him <laughs> yes. will probably, you know, will, those who, I've seen some uh, Kawhi trades uh, before he came back. Very low in Kawhi trades, maybe six, seven round for Kawhi, or maybe lower. Um, so, so I think that could pay off if he plays this amount of minutes every game, except for the back to backs, of course. Um, yeah, that's Kawhi Zion, commission's favorite. Zion, uh, he's Zion. Doing well. Yeah. Right. So is this time to sell or is this going to be something that we should expect to continue? I'm on record. I'm on record that whenever I can sell Zion, I'll sell Zion. I'll sell Zion this year. I but he I'm also gonna say that um I did not expect him to be this good. Uh of course I have Zion in our invitationals and I really said before I, I know it was a mistake. 
Uh, looks like so far it's not been a mistake. He's been carrying my team, but I don't think it's gonna be sustainable. Uh, in his his body health wise, I don't think it's sustainable. The one point seven steals, one point three blocks the past seven games. Uh, that's that's something that uh, I want to monitor closely because that's very good. That's very good. One point seven steals. One, that's never that's happened. That's doable for Zion. You think? 1.7, uh, maybe a little lower, 1.3, 1.2, you know. It will, but if he okay. gets one steal, one block per game, I think that's okay. If he gets one steal, one block a game, he's, his ceiling goes up way high, way yeah. high. I think, and that's possible, I think, I think. I'll give it that he's going to have more stocks, but this high, or maybe even what you were saying, one point, one steal, one block, maybe the steal part, maybe... But the block part, I'm not too sure. Uh, they're missing some players, you know, Herb, uh, Brandon Ingram. I think that still has an effect overall on the on, yeah, the, on Zion. The so, 26 points probably won't stick, right? He's averaging 26.6. Yeah, yeah. The rebounding so probably won't stick, the 9.3. All of these numbers probably would go down. But again, if he can get one steal, one block. I mean, if it drops to one steal, one block. But yeah, said I'm not a big fan. Uh, I saw Zion. It's like the the I saw Zion before the season, like he was so slim, right, and fit. And then I saw Zion this during this game, and it looks like he bought not really bought, but he got big once again. I'm not sure. You know, it's just the, the, you know, the TV or what, but. No, no. I think I think uh, the pictures that came out before the season, the the slimmer Zion. I think that was a little bit edited. I think that was a little bit. Uh, there, there's a little trickery there, plus some angle here and there. You know, we can't really. Uh, we can't. We, we can't really believe everything. You know, Steph Curry's five shots, the one he did that we posted, yeah. and then he said that was that was edited also. But but yeah, a lot of these things come out these days. Uh, I think it was edited. So because I saw some pictures before the season of Zion, it wasn't that that kind. The, the one that we saw, the very slim one, it wasn't that. So I think he slimmed down, but not as slim as we we saw in the picture. Um, okay, so still a little the heavy side, but not uh, not like before. So I'll give him that. But uh, given so many injuries happening in the NBA, I'll find it very ironic if he can stay healthy to the end of the season. I just don't see it. He'll get a sprained ankle here or there, a little soreness here or there. So and it's just going to be annoying because when Zion sits, I think he's going to be like a Jimmy Butler. It's going to take a long time, longer time, not long time, longer time than normal players to come back. So that is what I'm worried about because what if it happens in the time when you need him the most? Or when a time when the playoff comes, fantasy playoff comes, or when a time when you're fighting for positions, maybe fighting to get into the playoffs, and then that happens. So that's why I'm really saying that you should sell him already. Uh, so that's Zion. Some waiver pickups. Walker Kessler, my goodness. I'm, yeah. I'm happy I got one. I picked him up. I streamed him, uh, adding him for today's game. Five blocks, a double double. He started though. The interesting thing, yeah. maybe you know, we can also talk about Jared Vanderbilt because Jared Vanderbilt went to the came off the bench. I'm not sure if it's going to be something to we should be worried about. Um, he hasn't been good, good Vanderbilt, but um, he hasn't been bad either. He's been okay. Um, so you think this sticks? Kessler sticks. In the starting Kessler's, lineup. Kessler won't stick in the starting lineup for now. I think it will be a game by game, game for game by game. Uh, they they interviewed Will Hardy, said he's just gonna give him a chance. He's not committing to it. And they're still in the play in, playoff picture. So he's gonna see how it works. But Walker Kessler, we have mentioned him maybe three times the past week. We've we've said that he's been playing very well, he's been improving, but it hasn't shown in the numbers. He was like four points, two blocks, six points, three blocks, something like that. And then the minutes are 15, 17. But we said he's been playing very well, uh, improved. So now that he's starting, it is finally, you know, finally translated. No, so I hope you were I early. See, I, I see, hope you were early. No, I just see Kessler as someone of a specialist. If your team what? is, 
you know, throws in the, you know, if he needs some blocks in some rebounding, he'll probably be able to help. Uh, if you're still holding on to maybe Isaiah Jackson, waiting for that thing to to happen, I think you'd rather have Kessler on your team. Yes, Isaiah Jackson is a drop. Isaiah Jackson, the Kong Wu, they're, they're drops. And Walker Kessler, I, I would say specialist in fantasy, maybe, but specialist in many different categories because his field goal is good, yeah, although he doesn't take a lot. Too. The rebounds are good. The blocks are good. So overall, like normal four or five categories, like Laxton maybe, except that he doesn't steal as much as Nick Laxton. But but in in fantasy, it's that. But when you watch the games, the he's very good defensively. He covers a lot of their problems. Uh, when the mistakes of Clarkson and Sexton, I think I also think why they started Kessler today is because Sexton and Clarkson they're really uh tough, uh, poor defenders. They're poor defenders. And when you watch the game, you can see it. Uh, you can see what Kessler does compared to an Olinik. No? So um, I was shocked, though, that Olinik was not the one that they put on the bench. But maybe because of the offense, because Vanderbilt and, and Kessler would probably be a little harder spacing wise. So, and we also they mentioned facilitate. Vanderbilt before. Yeah, we also mentioned Vanderbilt before that he's really trending down. So, yeah, this is not good for Vanderbilt. And this is very good for Kessler. You have to pick him up in 12 or 14 team leagues. For sure. For sure. All right. Uh, Walker Kessler, you just reminded me of Rudy Gobert, who had... Rudy Gobert. The best yeah. game of his season uh, today. Told you. I told you this is time. This is time. He's going to start to, to play go. better. Let's go. Come, Come on. on. Uh, solid nine. I think he had 20 rebounds. If I'm not mistaken. Yeah. Around 16 points or something like that. And... The stocks were nice. I think he had three and two, two, three steals and two blocks. So solid number. So hopefully that continues on. Uh, anyway, other waiver players, Mo Wagner. We'll just run through them. Mo Wagner um, is uh, starting for Wendell Carter Jr. Playing well. Playing well playing so well. far. Two, two straight yeah. good games. Uh, Nick Batum and Robert Covington. For tomorrow, in case you're going to stream. Uh, yeah, for tomorrow. Plus, Marcus Morris is out. I believe that uh, they might m- miss out Kawhi and, and, and Paul George. But Covington is playing better as of late. So, let's see. Maybe this is one of those... Commission's favorite. Yeah, maybe this is one of those things that, you know, he gets hot again. You know, maybe. Maybe. Um, Jalen Duran also had a double-double today. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So you watch out for that as well. You know, he's been up and down. Uh, these rookies have been up and down, but um, he's been solid. The, the minutes are, are consistent, but not a lot. Consistent. I think that's what you want to see, right? It's the well, minutes well, consistent, and then what's the production for those amount of minutes? The problem with Duran, the minutes is consistent, but it's not really high. You know, it's, it's like not, 20. It's, not, it's like 20 eight. minutes is high. But Marvin, we can't talk about Duran if we don't talk about Marvin Bagley. You know, well, what he did today in 19 minutes was what? Two points, no rebounds, nothing else. Uh, so uh, Bagley was, as I said, I was shocked. Bagley was top 100 just, just last, just a couple of days ago or, or a week ago. After that, we mentioned him, we mentioned Bagley being a top 100 guy. He suddenly, you know, plummeted, which is not surprising. This is something you can predict. Bagley's not really a good, very good player. So let's see if they make a switch somehow, start Duren instead of Bagley. So I don't think they will, but eventually in the season, I think that, that they'll make that switch. Yeah, so Duren is, you can add him as well. Um, deeper leagues. Yeah, deeper leagues. Uh, Caruso has been another popular player uh, that we have recommended uh, for an ad. He is starting, right? He's starting. Starting. Right now. Yeah. Starting. So I think he's that's... starting and actually I was just gonna say if you're you have pain, maybe you make a switch to Caruso. He's not gonna be scoring and uh, shooting trees like pain, but the steals, the blocks, you know, the, the assists, it's gonna be, be there, there for Caruso. Yeah. Uh Keegan. Hopefully he's starting to him heat up. up. Uh at least yeah, he has somewhat three good games now, four good games. Um yep. So yeah, just hopefully he wasn't 
you didn't drop him or if you did, you know, hopefully you were able to get him back before he got hot. Um, so that's another player you should watch out for. Um, yeah, and then the rest is all on the Aaron. I just mentioned Aaron Holiday, another player. If you know you have, if you have Shake Milton and Cameron Payne, if Milton suddenly falls off the radar, maybe you're looking for a replacement. The John Murray, the John Murray got injured today. Uh, sprained his ankle. Um, according to Coach Nate McMillan, there was some swelling when he checked on him in the locker room. There was already some swelling. It did look bad. He was able to limp off in the game. But if there's some swelling, maybe you can see him miss a couple of games. Hopefully, yeah. just a couple of games. But uh, Aaron Holiday becomes somebody you can can target also as a streamer for the meantime. By the way, um, PJ Washington also got hit on the eye. Also got hurt. Yeah. Um. I'm not sure if it's going to be the Darius Garland type. No, don't say that. Don't say that. I have a lot of PJ Washington. You know, you know, if you look at Darius Garland, his eye still doesn't look right. It's like, yeah, it's not. So I think it's really, uh, we were talking about it really this season. Uh, what's up with this guy? What's taking so long? And then when you see the eye, it's not really. Right. Even up to now. I mean, it's been, what, eight weeks uh, in? So, um, could be serious. Re- that could have been serious. Hopefully, this one with PJ, it's not going to be as serious. Uh, Kai Jones, the rookie. It could. could or Jalen. Yeah. Jalen Jalen is probably the better ad, but Kai Jones Kai Jones is a rookie. Kai Jones is a sophomore. Oh yeah, yeah, sophomore, yeah. But 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 um he might get a start. You know, they're they're down so many players. Or maybe Lamelo decides to finally play. Come I on. I don't know. Come on, Lamelo. <laughs> I don't know what's up with the ankle of Lamelo, you know, but the, the maybe he team played. I have in our league, uh, with high school friends, I have Bill Maxi. Lamelo, just a bunch of I think I, I if I'm not mistaken, I also have Bane there. Um just, just bad bad luck. Yeah. Just bad luck. And our FBW teams actually starting to, to, to get these players get the bad luck because I have Dejounte, I have PJ. So uh, I think every you know, manager goes through in a season goes through these things. Yes, but uh, some managers have it better. Than, than than others. Uh I do I, I have to admit the past two seasons my injury uh record is not good. But previous to that, like two to three seasons, I was really spared a major injury. So sometimes it's just something, you know, every every luck that you had was just taken away from you yeah. uh in the next seasons. So this is this is my team. I have Beal. Um I I also had Horford. So Horford, did. Okay. I have Maxi, Herb Jones, who's also out, Baines also out, Lamelo's mm-hmm. also out, uh, and then I have Marcus Morris, who's also out. I maybe you can all, drop Morris. <laughs> uh, yeah, I was thinking about that as well, uh, but I just couldn't find any good add to. Uh, Norm Powell is also out. I was thinking of dropping Norm Powell the other day, um, and then I have KCP, who apparently is game time decision. Uh, but likely to play. So hopefully he plays. But really, really bad. Uh, I was so happy the past few weeks. I wasn't, you know, being, um, you know, the the I was really close, like four or five or three six, but not the the bad three six type. But now I think I'm gonna go two seven one eight. I think those are the the losses that I'm gonna probably be taking. You, you can try to hold on, but sometimes, you know, uh, if it's like multiple weeks, it's just really, it's really going to be hard. Yeah. It's really I mean, going to be hard. Yeah, I, I'm thinking of who to drop here. Morris. Like, probably it's Morris or Powell. Just between the Morris two. and Powell are both drops for me. Yeah. Um, Especially in 14-team leagues. Powell's groin thing, I'm not too sure if it's going to be a fast thing. Annoying, and right? Then, just, because, just when he was starting to yeah. pick up. And and you know Paul George is there already, uh, Kawhi is there already. So even if he comes back, it's not gonna be what we saw before. So I think yeah, he's, a, but, he's a he's a drop. Yeah, but there's really that's a, that's so hard to drop them. 
not many on the on the oh, waiver well. wire to pick up, just, right? Um, just get somebody that we just talked about, maybe. Actually, uh, I just realized who's who's there. Uh, Briggs is there, so maybe I'll probably just switch yeah. them up a bit to those guys. Or Boucher is there. Boucher played well today. Two games already, I think, if I'm not mistaken. Played okay. So we'll see. We'll see. Anyway, everyone goes through this. Uh, lastly, you posted a pitch start cut about Jokic and B then AD. You asked me about it. Uh, yeah, you, we you, were, you, 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 I already we said was, what I already said what I feel. So maybe you uh, explain your decision. So the question of Kamish is that uh, who do you bench, who do you start, who do you cut? Or maybe just ranking these three players. Yeah. Nikola Jokic, Joel Embiid, and Anthony Davis. Um, I I said Jokic is still number one for me. Agree. But I went with Embiid over AD. Um, both have risk there. But mm-hmm. I just am not sure how AD... I just feel that AD is a little more banged up in terms of, you know, because they're they're not as good of a team. So I just always feel like in a game, AD gets more banged up than Embiid. But I'm not, you know, sure. Um, it's just that I've seen Embiid last year go through, you know, more number of games. And the last time I've seen AD go through that many number of games was years, I think, New Orleans days. I, I I don't think in terms of banged up that AD is more banged up than Embiid. I think Embiid's pretty pretty banged up also all the time. And he's always have so many issues also. One thing about these two guys, as I said, they're Iron Man in the sense that they try to play through a lot of things. You know, they try to play through a lot of they, they, people say injury risk, injury risk, but they, they, they do play through a lot of injuries, small injuries, but they do get a lot also. Because they're big men, they yeah. get, you know, hacked, whacked or whatever. I chose AD because I watching Embiid and Harden and watching LeBron and AD, it, it's just different. Uh, Harden will just, I don't know, just get suck a lot of usage out of Embiid, which LeBron, I think he's trying to trying to deflect more to AD right now, trying to give him more because he's trying to, I guess, preserve himself also. So I think overall, the number of games, I think both of them will be the same. Unless an ACL happens or whatever, which knock no, on wood that doesn't, don't knock on wood doesn't happen. But if there's any minor injury, sprained ankle, illness or whatever, I think they're very similar in that sense. That, you know, eventually it will just even out. So just looking at the performance and their role in the team, I think Embiid's role will start to go down a little bit, a little bit, and Harden will will take some of the usage there. So that's why I chose AD. Yeah, 80, 62 games over under. You got, I don't know if you still remember, but we had this. Uh, I got the what? Under, I think. It doesn't look good now for me. <laughs> uh, because no, it's still played. early. It's still early. I think, you know, he missed two games. He'll probably miss one game now. So. No, he, you can count the game that he I think he's because played, he played 19 games more or less i think he's just missed two games right the one game uh one rest yeah. game and then today so just two games he has missed just two games so far i think if i'm not mistaken yeah. I, I think it's around the if not 19 20 games already uh that he's, he's gonna beat 62 at this point i i i i i'm at the i feel like he's gonna beat 62 so i'm gonna lose that one all I'm right gonna lose that one. all right comment down the comment section, your thoughts as well for any of the topics we talked about today, uh, and your rankings and your takes as well. As always, please subscribe to our YouTube channel, um, like our Facebook page. All, all the articles that Commission has been writing has been there, so you can check those out. And yeah, with that, we'll see you guys again tomorrow for another daily fantasy review. Bye, guys.